In the new Gorilla single, New Gold, there's a music theory secret that makes their song feel totally different to the other new releases out this week. That secret is what you'll learn in this lesson, as well as how to use it to write a Gorilla style bassline. But first, T. Hello revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony and welcome to Hack Music Theory. The fast, easy and fun way to make music. If you're new to theory or if you just want a refresher, then read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords. You'll be able to instantly apply these hacks to your songwriting and producing. So head on over to hackmusictheory.com right after this lesson and download your free PDF. Alright, it's time to open your DAW to Hack Music Theory. All right, so what's the music theory secret behind this song? Well, it is in 6-4. The time signature of 6-4 contains six quarter notes in a bar instead of the usual four quarter notes in a bar that you get in 4-4. Four, four. And the brilliance of 6-4 is that it doesn't sound weird because six is still an even number. Also, you can still nod along to the quarter notes just like you do in 4-4. Four, four but every bar is longer than you're expecting and this extended bar makes the music feel more laid back as it takes longer to loop back around to beat one. So you can think of 6-4 as the scenic route, whereas 4-4 is the direct route. To balance out this relaxed vibe though, gorillas use a dancey four on the floor drum beat. Well, it's actually a six on the floor drum beat because there are six quarter notes in a bar and each one of those quarter notes has a kick drum on it. So that's their secret. It's that contrasting combination of the dancey drum beat and the laid back time signature of 6-4, which creates that unique vibe in this song. All right, so now that you know their music theory secret, you're gonna learn how to use it to make a gorilla style bass line. So set your time signature to 6-4 and your tempo to 108 BPM. Then create a one bar loop on your bass track. Gorillas use the F sharp natural minor scale in this song, so we'll use a two. And that scale is F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, and E. The music theory in this song is all about contrast. So that theme continues in their bass line where they use a contrasting combination of legato and staccato notes. And if those terms are new to you, legato notes are connected to each other and staccato notes are disconnected from each other. So their bass line is divided into two sections. The first section is legato and the second section is staccato. This results in the first section sounding smooth and chill and the second section sounding more energetic and funky. So for the legato section, use longer notes like eighth notes and dotted eighth notes. And for the staccato section, use 16th notes with rests in between. Also, their bass line has a ton of syncopation, which is an offbeat accent. So be sure to use a bunch of that too. And just before we reveal our example, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack in a future lesson, drop us a comment. Also, if you wanna learn our essential hacks for making great melodies, chord progressions, bass lines, drum beats, and more, then watch the 12 step-by-step -step videos in our songwriting and producing course. If you're feeling frustrated because your music isn't as good as you want it to be, then this is for you. You can sign up now over at hackmusictheory.com courses.